Hello subscribers of the channel Auto Electricians, Diagnosticians, Fans of the Brand, Fans of BMW Diagnostics. And so I present to your attention my new software for the transfer of keys on the blocks of the cash register series, on all blocks of the cash register series cash register 1 restyling to restyling cash register 2, cash register 3, cash register 3 plus also cash register 3 plus scripted and non-crypt. We'll consider all options. You can download the software on Busty links will be in the description under the video. So let's consider the first variant, when we need to transfer keys on non-crypt cash registers. That's what the program's all about. And here we have the first field, which is the donor dump field. The second field at the bottom is the recipient dump field. Also, the fields are divided into two parts, as we can see bytes responsible for EWS and bytes responsible for radio channel. If we move only the bytes responsible for EWS, the car will start, but the central locking, i.e. with the key the car will not open and close. Therefore, all bytes must be transferred. So, to open the donor dump, click the open donor dump button. Let's open the donor dump, let's say CAS1, dear styling. And here we have the program itself determines from what block, i.e. dump, from what CAS, from CAS1, dear styling, what processor, DG128 and dump size. Bytes also came into our possession. Now let's open the dump we want to transfer to our keys. Click to open the dump of the estipient. Let's say we transfer to CAS2 and the same thing appears. The dump, the size of the dump and the DG256 processor are defined. So, in order to transfer the keys, we have a field like this here. Here we can choose which key to carry. Either by using the down and up buttons, or by scrolling the mouse, or we can also input from the keyboard. So, let's say we want to move the first key. Select the first key and click copy. Key copied into the reception dump. And in the donor dump, it is marked that this key is copied to make it visually clear. Which keys you've already copied? Well, let's say we want to copy the third key as well. Copy the third key. It copied the same thing. So, now in order to save the transferred keys to the recipient dump, click the Save Recipient Dump button. And so, we save our dump with transposed keys. After we have saved the dump, we need to recalculate the checksums. Click the Calculate button. Select our saved dump. One, two, three was. Okay, that's it. Checksums have been recalculated. That's it. We've moved the keys on the unscripted cash registers. So, now let's assume that we need to transfer a key from a crypto cashier to an uncrypto cashier. To do this, we open our, I will give crypto, so cash try plus script and the program itself determines whether the dump is crypto or not. As we see, we have a crypto van dam. Let's say we want to transfer it to a non crypto van. Let's say to the cash tree plus scripted. The procedure, then, is similar for now. Select the key we want to migrate. Let's say key 2 and maybe key 3 as well. Okay, we move the keys. But as we know, in crypto cash registers we have the key passport crypt. And accordingly, we've moved it in crypto. And now, if we save everything, nothing will work for us since the passwords are crypto. In order to unscript passwords, 
We use my program that I have shown before. This is the Castry Plus Dumps Unwrapping Program. We open our Castry Plus Crypto Dump. And we get our crypto passwords in order to rascally. I've already shown you how to work with my Rascriptor program. I'm not gonna stop now. Check out the video. We'll rhapsodize. Okay, it's not Cryptovan. And now we can copy these passwords here. Last three bytes. We copied the second and third key. So we'll move it, we'll copy it. On the second and third key, our last three bytes. Okay, inserting for the second key. And insert for the third key. All of them. We've rascripted our passwords and transferred them in rascripted form. Now, just like in the first option, we save our dump. Save and also recalculate the checksum. That's it. We've moved the keys from the crypto cash register to the non crypto one. Okay. Let's now look at transferring keys from an uncrypted checkout to a crypto checkout. Let's open an uncrypted dump. Let's say a cash register. Cas3 is not crypt and let's move it to the crypt dump. Let's open it. Cas3 plus crypto. So, Cas3 plus crypto. So, the same as the non-crypto ones for starters. Carry over. Let's say the first key. We want to relocate. And the second key. So transferred, but we have, so we have a crypto. And accordingly, we transferred the keys to the crypto. We need to transfer it to the crypto form. Again, we'll use a scripting program to do this. So let's reopen our crypto lamp. And as we can see, our keys are crypto keyed. And we're going to ransack them. That's it. We have the keys in unscripted form. And now we take the keys that we copied. First and second key. Last two bytes. Last three bytes. Copy them. So, we copied them in a scripted form. And now we need to script them. Spell it out. Everyone, these two transposed keys of ours, their passports are now cryptized. And now we're copying them into a crypto cassette. That's it. Our keys are now in scripted form. We can even compare. 
We move the first two keys. Here they are in the unscripted form, and here they are in the scripted form. That's it. We've moved the keys to the crypto cassette, and now we save the dump in the same way. And recalculate the checksum. All of them. We've covered all types of key transfers on cash registers. All checkouts are in E-Series, both crypto and non-crypto.